I also think Kevin Stefanski, for the good of his profession, needs to just uh, make sure that the team loses here. If they lose, if you don't need a head coach right. mm. on the field for a game, then why are they making so much money? He could remember when Hugh Freeze coached from the hospital bed. Well, that's one thing. Why can't they? We'll get into that. But yes, you're right, Dave. There, there are some games when Steve Kerr has back issues and can't make it to, for the trip or whatever, and Golden State wins by 30. It's like, oh, wow. And, and even Steve Kerr himself, like, you barely need to coach this team, you know? But football seems different. If the Browns win, doesn't he Wally? Isn't that Wally pipping the entire profession of coaching? No, because I think you could argue that he's set them up for success enough or they know enough what to do. If this happened yeah. in week two, or and you know like week two through four and they just kept winning without him it'd be like oh, okay but I feel like it you know into the playoffs if you you could say that he's already ingrained something in the team where they've you know he set them up for success enough would you have trouble with this guy coaching from home or is it such an advantage to have the uh the tv broadcast out there you have a uh, a blue ribbon panel of uh, of ex head coaches sh- surrounding you by mike shane right, and, you, and you have, there you have and offensive and... coaches in the booth and everything right like they're they're all yeah i guess else too. can you put them in a bubble in an actual bubble on the sideline and let them coach could you <laughs> could he, that. John could he Travolta do it from 77. Home? 